the information you need relating to the sport you love, all within five minutes. NASCAR 5 starts right now. Hello everyone, welcome to NASCAR 5. I'm your host Bryce Turner. This weekend, NASCAR races at Kentucky. A look at the schedules coming up, but first a look back to the races at Daytona and Kentucky. Brad Keselowski won the Coke 0400 Sprint Cup race from Daytona. Kyle Busch, Trevor Bain, Joey Logano, and Ricky Stenhouse Jr. rounded out the top five. Meanwhile, Kevin Harvick continues to lead in the standings over Brad Keselowski, Kurt Busch, Joey Logano, and Carl Edwards. For more post-race coverage, visit carnuts.ca and click on Closed Wheel Racing. In the Xfinity Series at Daytona, Eric Almirola won the Subway Firecracker 250 powered by Coca-Cola. Justin Allgaier and Ryan Sieg finished second and third. Daniel Suarez continues to lead in the standings over Elliott Sadler and Ty Dillon. And last night, the Camping World Truck Series raced at Kentucky with the Buckle Up in Your Truck 225. William Byron took home the victory, followed by John Hunter Nemechek and Daniel Hemrick. Byron continues to lead in the standings over Matt Crafton and Daniel Hemrick. It's time now for a news update. In the news, Joe Gibbs racing driver Matt Tift has successfully undergone brain surgery. The 20-year-old Xfinity and Truck Series driver had surgery Friday to remove a low-grade glioma in his brain. Tift is expected to resume racing after he completes rehabilitation and receives medical clearance. In other Xfinity news, driver Daryl Wallace Jr. has been penalized because of a tweet. Wallace tweeted after last weekend's Xfinity race, quote, Got the Muppets up there officiating tonight. Never know how to react under pressure. What a joke, end quote. Wallace has been fined $15,000 for a behavioral level issue. The annual Jimmy Johnson Foundation Golf Tournament and Dinner took place recently. The event, held at California's Torrey Pines Golf Course, raised more than $730,000 this year. The money benefits the Champions Grants Program, which awards grants to K-12 public schools in Chandra and Jimmy Johnson's hometowns in Oklahoma and California, also where they currently live in North Carolina. And Benny Phillips won the 6th Squire Hall Award for NASCAR Media Excellence. Media outlets where Phillips worked included the High Point North Carolina Enterprise, Stock Car Racing Magazine, and TV station TBS. Phillips died in 2012 at the age of 74. Tonight, the NASCAR Xfinity Series races at Kentucky Speedway with the ALSCO 300. The race will take place at around 8.45 p.m. Eastern with broadcast coverage on NBCSN, TSN2, PRN, and SiriusXM. Qualifying is set for today at 4.45 and can be seen on NBCSN. Then tomorrow night, it's the Sprint Cup Series Quaker State 400 presented by Advance Auto Parts. The race will take place at about 7.45 p.m. Eastern with broadcast coverage on NBCSN, TSN2, PRN, and SiriusXM. Qualifying is set for today at 6.45 with TV coverage tomorrow on NBCSN. Qualifying will be live streamed online through NBCSports.com. Thanks for watching this week's edition of NASCAR 5. I'm Bryce Turner. Enjoy the races.